In this video, I would like to show you the top five mistakes regarding the offshore company formation and also explain to you what is currently legal in offshore company formation and from which country especially you can profit. Mistake number one, creating a simple mailbox company. Making the mistake of creating a simple mailbox company is an incorrect approach from the onset. There are various reasons for this. Firstly, mailbox companies are often not recognized by tax authorities. Furthermore, shell companies can be easily shut down by the country in which they were incorporated, which only adds to the problem. Mailbox companies are simply not welcome by most countries, as they do not make a positive contribution to the country's economy. A virtual office can also pose as a threat. Virtual office providers often register several hundred companies at the same address. This, of course, attracts attention. The same applies to letterbox companies. These methods are not accepted by any country on a long term. Now, how can you do it correctly? The key principle is to establish substance. Instead of opting for a virtual office, it is crucial to have a physical business address in the country of incorporation. Ideally, this address should include necessary infrastructure such as an internet connection and a telephone number. It is also advantageous to employ one or more individuals from the country of origin, as this often leads to additional tax benefits. To learn more about this, stay tuned until the end of the video. Mistake number two, exotic countries outside the EU. Many individuals mistakenly associate the concept of an offshore company with establishing a business in remote and exotic countries or even island nations. However, this perception is incorrect. The likelihood of local tax authorities approving a company formed in a distant and exotic jurisdiction is extremely low. As you may now realize, creating a successful overseas company necessitates substance and presence. This entails, for example, holding regular director meetings in the country of incorporation to ensure recognition. If the chosen country is geographically distant, substantial travel expenses and additional costs, such as visa applications, come into play. The need for substance was recently reinforced by a new law from the UK, which applies to most typical offshore destinations. In addition, outside the EU, the legal situation in many exotic countries is very uncertain. This can lead to bank accounts being frozen for an unknown period of time, or even expropriations are possible in some countries. It should also not be forgotten that the authorities in the country of incorporation should work efficiently. Waiting for months for application approvals is highly inefficient for your business. Let's explore mistake number three, opening a bank account remotely. Many startup agencies promote the idea of setting up companies remotely in various countries, allowing you to establish a foreign company from the convenience of your own home and have it up and running within a few days. However, there's an important factor that often goes unnoticed. The challenge of opening a bank account for your company. Regardless of the country or jurisdiction, it is virtually impossible to open a bank account remotely without physically visiting the bank. Mistake number four. Since the end of 2017, the law regarding the automatic exchange of information on financial accounts in tax-related matters has been in effect. Essentially, this means that local tax authorities receive automatic information about assets, including company accounts held abroad. It's important to note that this applies not only within the European Union, but also beyond. Worldwide, more than 200 countries are involved. These include many countries that are preferred for offshore company formation such as Monaco, Hong Kong, Switzerland, Cyprus, Panama, Seychelles, Romania, and many more. From many anonymous internet offshore agencies, however, this is not taken into account and is often not even pointed out. Mistake number five, payment providers for a company to thrive. It is crucial to offer convenient payment options to customers, especially for online businesses. If customers are unable to make payments using popular payment methods, they will simply turn to competitors who readily accept their preferred payment options. Unfortunately, this poses a significant challenge for many offshore companies. There are hardly any common payment providers that allow opening an account for a company based in a typical offshore destination. Receiving credit card payments, services such as Sofatu Vison or PayPal are thus completely eliminated. 
and with them, a large number of potential customers. Are you tired of dealing with offshore destinations that fail to support international payment methods, especially for larger transactions, when your company operates globally? Well, we have the perfect solution for you. My colleagues and I have taken a close look at the economic conditions in a number of countries. And the bottom line is that Romania is undeniably the most advantageous country for foreign company formation. You might be wondering why precisely. Allow me to provide you with a few compelling reasons. 1. Recognition and Compliance When you establish a company in Romania, you can rest assured that it will be fully recognized by the local tax office. To ensure this, it's important to build your company with substance from the beginning. This entails having a physical office space with essential infrastructure such as reliable internet and telephone connections. You'll also need to employ one or more individuals on site. While this may initially sound complex and costly, Romania's favorable wage levels and other factors make it surprisingly achievable with minimal effort. 2. Seamless Banking Opening a bank account in Romania is a breeze. Simply plan a short visit to the country, and within a few days, you can have your company account up and running without any hassle or the need for a postal address. 3. Payment Provider Compatibility Say goodbye to the headaches of opening accounts with payment providers when you choose Romania as your company's base. Whether you need credit card payment capabilities or wish to utilize popular platforms like PayPal, Romania has you covered. One of the biggest advantages of setting up a company in Romania is that it has by far the most favorable tax conditions within the EU. For example, you do not have to pay any profit tax. Furthermore, there is only 1% tax on the turnover, up to 1.5 million euros turnover per year, if you have one or more employees on site. 1% taxes. All of this is legal and without having to use any tax tricks. If you want to learn more about taxes in Romania, please watch one of our videos on this topic. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're interested in setting up a company, the topic of taxes, or real estate in Romania, we would be happy to hear from you. You can find more information in the video description.